previously on Mason's ADV. Well guys, we ready to do this? Mm -hmm. This is it. Unlike our usual rides, this one's gonna take a couple days to get home from. We decided on a route that starts in Ottawa and ends somewhere closer to home, but without a fixed itinerary. The plan was we would find campsites along the way, see how far we could get, but at the same time, taking time to see the scenery and also not having to worry about any breakdowns or other issues messing with the set schedule. We knew where we were starting and every day we rode brought us closer to home. Hey guys, welcome back to episode five. Glad to have you along for the ride. In the last episode, you watched us head from Calabogie to our campsites at Granite Lake. Along the way, the trails got fairly serious, uh, a little bit more than we were expecting, that was for sure, especially after the day that we had already had. So it was nice to hit the campgrounds, pitch the tent, get something to eat, and just relax and talk about the day we had just been through. Then it was down to the lake for a bit of a tour, check out this beautiful area that we were staying in, and it was early to bed because today is going to be a big day. Well, good morning, everybody. It's the start of our second leg of the trail system. Morning. And uh, this was our campsite for the night, right here by Granite Lake. It's a beautiful spot. We had a great meal of freeze-dried food, and I don't even mean that, uh, I'm not even being obnoxious, it was fantastic. And got to spend the night here, right by this beautiful lake, Granite Lake. There's three campsites here that you can book. Uh, we were fortunate to have the place to ourselves, actually. There was a lot of animals last night, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> party animals. So as you can tell, Melon's microphone's still playing up, but he's uh, good enough to keep the humor going in my ear. And so today we're headed for Oompa. Oompa? Oompa? And uh, that's our first fuel stop for the day. We're out of water, so we're going to fill up our water jugs. But this was home sweet home. And just like that, like a whole herd of the turtles that are on my, on my bars, I believe we're off. seems to take a couple minutes to get your head back into the game. And these downhills were fairly tricky and a bit of a rough start to the morning. Trust me when I say they're steeper than they appear. That would be a nasty step up coming this way. I'm glad the path goes around and not up that. Hey, isn't that cool? Ooh, log, stay left. Big tree. Uh, It's doable, fellas.
Uh, yep. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, all right, there's one huge left leg. All right. Fun. Sand, that's good. Hill climb. Okay, so if that didn't hit my skid plate, nothing's going to. Nice flat spot up here. Awesome. It'll get easier. Nothing like cutting a tree out of the way it... First thing in the morning. It's deeper than it looks, yes. Yeah, that's the breakfast bell. Mucky underneath. Yeah, the side of that first one was slippery. Well, yesterday we did a fair little bit of pavement as well, and today I'm not sure how much of that we get. If much at all. Deer! That is cool. Yeah. Rhino. Rhino. Thanks, guys. How are you? Hello? Hello? That's it, I'm the last one. Perfect, thank you. Well, I will say, everyone's been very friendly. Uh, the, everyone's good with the number of them coming, and I think that's smart. I think that's really nice. That's me either, and that certainly is an ATV thing. Maybe a snowmobile thing, Benham? Okay, yeah. Um, and I, I think it's really smart on a trail system. But I, not being part of either of those two groups, it's not something I was aware of too. You, you very quickly figure it out, right, when a guy's holding up ten fingers at you. Okay, we stop. So we had just come up one of those rocky uphills, and on the way up, something hit on the left side of Mellon's bike and bent his shift lever out. So we just had to stop for a second and give it the old forearm repair. Do you need my channel locks, or what are you thinking? Oh yeah. How the heck? Out even. Perfect. Nice fix, buddy. I'm not going to lie, it made me look down at mine. <laughs> Everyone good? All right. First tree removed. Water's crossed. Mechanical shifter bent and fixed. Get your game face on here, fellas. It continues to stay, stay at it. Is this something I can just do for you? Yeah, just pull it out slightly. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Too much? Yeah. Okay. Looking good, man. I still got all my shit. 
I think so, eh? <sighs> they do hold really nice. I still have your camera too, which is really impressive. Because both of my Sonys were in use, I borrowed Benham's GoPro on the side of the bike for a little extra footage. At least we've done some climbs and some water with it, so it'll be neat to see. See, there's a downshift. Oh shit. Holy. Nice, man. Do you need help? Okay. Good. You good? So by now we were starting to get back into the swing of it, but Mellon was still struggling a little bit with his shifter. Does it feel nice now? The shifter. It's like that? Yeah. Oh, I just stalled her. Oh, she started it again. Oh. <laughs> okay, that was, that was, that there was a little, uh, that was fun. Started, stalled it with the brake. <laughs> another one. These guys, those guys we just passed have come a long way this morning. They're obviously the early worm. Uh, this looks a little more civilized. a vent open kind of day for those of you that have vents that are open and closed. Now in any multi-day group ride there's bound to be disagreements. This one was over the fuel stop in Oompa. We had been told that Oompa gas station wasn't open to the public anymore and that the closest fuel was in Plevna. But in Mellon's defense Oompa was shown as a fuel stop on our GPX. Now Mars's buddy who lives in Oompa said the closest fuel is in Plevna. This is the way we want to go anyway, is all I'm saying. Why would we go there and come back, even if there is fuel, when we can go there and get fuel? Well, I don't care. I think you're silly. You don't ride a Honda and you smell bad. No? Okay. Every time we get back from a trip, I'm surprised at how few disagreements we've actually had. And it really isn't a bad thing if it puts you on a road like this. Oh, this is a gorgeous ride, too. Wow. Nice, that was a gorgeous freaking road, I tell you. Pardon? This is going to Oompa. Palmerston Lake Marina, member card required. Prior to fueling, great. <laughs> we have to find Plevna, is it off of this road or do we have to go back to the gravel one? Is it like Buckshot Creek area? So that's where we are. Yeah. That, that pin. Yeah. So we go back and just follow our route. Plevna is The quaint little town of Plevna. It even has a full on hardware store, look. Right here, fellas. Good morning. That looks like a fun thing to do today. Oh. It is a great thing to do today. All right, fuel stop in Plevna. Got a coffee. We're ready to roll. I am right now, I'm heading to the start of my next track. And we're spot on with the pointer. I believe it starts right at the end of this road.
This pointer thing is freaking brilliant. Oh, look at all the turtles on the on the log. This section of road was a nice break from what we had been through this morning already. It gave us a chance to just rest and kind of wake up a little bit, let the coffee and Red Bull seep into our bloodstream. What a fantastic road. officially on my track again guys yeah yeah we're back I didn't I, I don't know how I missed the start point but I'm very much on a purple line and just like that we arrived at our next hydro cut section of the trail this section was so much fun that it completely deserves its own episode so thanks for watching guys mind how you go and we'll catch you on the next one bye for now Hey guys, if you liked that video, hit the thumbs up button for us. It goes a long way towards helping out the channel. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button in the upper corner for new videos every Sunday. Be glad to have you along for the ride.